Hi guys, welcome to our channel. So today we're going to be doing a little rehab on this accessory I had outside. It's looking a little rough, a little dirty right now. But I want to give it a nice little polish, seal the wood, take it apart. The glass is falling off in the back and uh, I want to go ahead and uh, you know bring it back to life. I have actually two of them and I'll, we just got new furniture. My wife wants to make it look pretty again. So it's got glass and it's very, very nice quality. Uh, you know, it's not waterproof, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a nice little, you know, clean up and a little uh, clear coat. So uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a, you know, time lapse. So I uh, hope you enjoy. All right, so I might remove this cover and put a little solar kit and put a little LED inside of it. So it lights up at night. I think it's gonna look fantastic. So let's see if it works. It's in a corner, so I'm not sure if the LED will work, but We'll first bring it back to life, then we'll play around with it. Not sure if I could take this off, uh, if it's been welded or anything like that. So I gotta figure that out first. So if not, then we're just gonna make it pretty. Alright guys, so started doing a little bit of a polish, I'm trying to polish the metal, it has like surface rust, this is stainless steel, but I want to make it a little bit better, um, I know it's going outside anyway, but I think it's going to look uh, a little bit better than the way it is now, this one feels just much, mucho, mucho better, so uh, you can hear it, so yeah, it has that, <clears throat> you can see all the surface rust, As you can see, just a little light pass. It looks so much better. I mean, I do have a machine, but I don't want to go crazy with it. Like this. It looks much better. It's not perfect. It's going outside. <clears throat> a lot more shiny. Ended up using the drill, um, you know, with the compound paste and a combination of the heavy metal uh, polish. So it looks way, way better. Now it did come off a little bit here. I think it's soldered on there. So I'm gonna have to epoxy this back or something. This we sanded already. You know, just give it like a you know, it's it's rough. It's not perfect. Uh, the wood is not you know like perfect. You know, it's got some rough edges like inside here and stuff like that. So, but you know, give it a nice little quick sand. Go ahead and gonna go ahead and clean the glass, and um, I'm trying to like make the base straighten it out a little bit. It's a little bit bent. 
put some weight on it and uh, hopefully it'll be better by the time I glue it all back I think it's gonna look really really nice you know I put all the bolts and those little clips that hold the glass they weren't stainless steel put them in the other D40 so then I also gotta kind of clean this up a little bit see how that goes all right so we cleaned all the pieces put a little bit of D40 on them we did the little polish on this looks way better so now we're gonna go ahead and do the clear she's ready to rock and roll and this thing is pretty nice. It's way better than I did before. All right. All right, so we did the clear coat, and I did, uh, you know, use a, a paper towel to take the excess off. I didn't want it to be so thick. Just wanted to, you know, penetrate, do a little protection, and it already got a little darker than I expected. I wanted it to be a little lighter, but, you know, I think it's fine. Exactly what we're looking for, so we're gonna go ahead and let it dry, put it together tomorrow, and uh, on to the next one. So it looks fantastic. The color come out perfect. That's why I took the excess off of it. It was going to be too dark. I didn't want all that thick clear coat on there. Just wanted a little color and some protection. I love it. Came out beautiful. The top came out really, really nice. All I'm going to do now is put the bottom on it because I was going to put little feet uh, since it's going to be outside and the lizards get under it and I make a little house. So. Uh, this is rubber, so we're going to use contact cement and glue it real nice. Alright guys, so this is the before. This is the after. Alright, so we did a nice simple clear coat on it, took it apart, cleaned all the glass, polished all the metal, cleaned all the stuff that had a little bit of rust on it. And then, you know, this has been sitting outside for a couple of years or so. So the metal, you know, with the humidity and stuff like that, you know, I mean this is dirty, but it's actually a little stained. But this one hasn't been treated, you know. Got some spider webs in there. So we're gonna have to do the same thing. Actually, it turned out pretty good. You know, these are supposed to be for indoors. These were imported. A friend gave them to me. And uh, they actually, you know, came out pretty nice. I had them inside the house and then we ended up putting them outside. So I was super happy, you know, with the results. So I guess some of the humidity probably 
you know, took a toll on the wood. You can see there's a couple that uh, wasn't like that when I got it. But, you know, this one too got a little bit, but that's fine. Very, very happy. It is going to go outside again. All right, guys, the project is done. I am super happy with it. It looks very, very clean. Uh, you know, now that we treated the wood, it's got a little darker, which is perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. We ended up getting new outdoor furniture, so I think it's going to go really nice with it. Now that it's clean, glass is clean, everything, all the hardware. Uh, as far as the stainless, uh, I don't know if I could get any more than that. It does have like little, you know, like a little dots everywhere, but I think it's it's the, probably the material. Uh, so I, I'm not going to go crazy with that. It looks 10 times better than I did before. It's going to be outside anyway. These are not for outdoors. They're for indoors. They were imported, like I mentioned before. So, you know, they come out really, really pretty. So you could get these at Lowe's or Home Depot uh, for outdoors. And, uh, you know, I did a little extra something here. So hold on, check this out. I added a little bracket with an LED. So look how nice that looks. So it's a little wireless remote. You could buy two, one, three or multiple lights. I'll put some of the links below. You can get these at Lowe's or online. Very nice. And you could dim it. Or make it nice and bright. All right, you could put the different times on it. You know, like five minutes, 15, 30 and 60 minutes. And what's even nicer, check it out. You can change colors. It's got RGB. Set to auto. All right, guys, so I didn't mention too much about how I did the LED so basically put a little bracket up there and then you know grab this little guy it's got a little magnet put it up there a little miscellaneous bracket that I found and that's pretty much it just you know it's got the the batteries and we're gonna go and that's it you can change the colors and all that good stuff as you already know Right, guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the time lapse you know let me know if you have any questions i put some links below don't forget to like and follow we're trying to grow can't do it without your support so i'll see you at the next project